The Illinois Fire Service Institute is a national and international fire service learning center where extensive hands-on training combined with the latest in scientific research is helping to create highly effective fire officers. The Institute conducts this scientific research in their state-of-the-art facilities. It's available to fire chiefs to help them improve the lives and safety of their firefighters and the communities that they serve. One of the best things that's happening with fire service research these days is that the fire service is involved from the very beginning. We are literally sitting at the table when the research questions are being developed and asked. And we're involved in this process throughout the whole thing. The researchers themselves are firefighters. These guys have crawled the hallways, they've raised the ladders, they understand our job because it's their job as well. One of the most important areas that research can help the fire service is being able to have a better understanding of physiological impact of fire suppression. Three, two, one, go. Once we understand physically what's going on inside of the firefighter, it allows us to implement tactics that are going to better protect our personnel and thereby reducing line of duty deaths and injuries. Unfortunately today we're seeing 50 to 60 percent of all line of duty deaths due to cardiovascular events. The research here at the University of Illinois has been extensive as it relates to that cardiovascular and heat stress component. With the research that we do here we can take firefighters directly out of a live fire training scenario into a clinical research setting in less than two minutes so we can very quickly get a measurement of the cardiovascular strain, the biomechanical changes, and then we can feed that back into the training to complete that loop so that the training then can be updated based on the research that we collect here. Probably the most significant change that I've been heavily involved with coming out of the research field is a truer understanding of the importance of rehab on the fire ground. The understanding that we need to rest, rehydrate, nourish, and provide some medical monitoring to our people all of that is based on information that's been identified through overall research and cardiovascular uh, studies. One of the major changes that we believe that research is going to be able to bring to us is working with manufacturers of equipment to develop physiological monitoring capabilities where we as fire officers can look at our firefighters, find out what their real condition is on the fire ground, and then adjust our tactics to provide a safer environment for our people. The translation from research to tactics and strategies has got to be an involved and hands-on process. The Illinois Fire Service Institute is a statutory fire academy for the state of Illinois. Each year we'll train 40 to 50,000 emergency responders from abroad, across the nation, and the state of Illinois. The five-step learning model that's employed here at the University of Illinois and is nationally recognized as a learning model, prepares the student for self-study. We do that by offering them training CDs, DVDs, library access, and online learning. Step two is the simulation classroom environment. They're exposed to new ideas, new theories, new applications in the classroom. Step three, real-world walkthrough of real-world drills, led by the instructor. Step four, places them in live fire conditions. They're ready for the challenge of, of low visibility and the environment of live fire, but they'll still be shadowed by the instructor. Step five, step five is when they go home. It's on the real response. That's where they validate everything that they've learned through the training and educational environments of step one through four. We respond to all kinds of various calamities and catastrophes, uh, building collapses, train wrecks, uh, incidents where there is no written game plan. The ability to look ahead and anticipate problems that no one's ever faced before certainly has never been more necessary than since 9-11. That has taught us the need to broaden the skill base as well as the vision base. It's absolutely essential that people do not think that they can learn skills that we're dealing with on the fire ground from reading a book or sitting in a class or a lecture. The five-step process that the U of I uses has to be a real continuum. There never was a time when you could properly train firefighters or officers in the classroom, and the fire service has always understood this. What we're doing better than ever before is we're merging the classroom learning with the hands-on learning. 
Uh, emergency scenes are more dynamic, they're more dangerous, they evolve quicker, and if you're going to have a properly prepared fire officer, that fire officer has to experience those things in training. It's recognition prime decision making. You want to make as many of those decisions ahead of time as you possibly can, and only hands-on training coupled with good factual research and good factual information can make a proper fire officer.